So this is how the smart sets is designed to work. So before, in A tools especially, if I need a, a, the same selection sets for more than one character, let's say I want this arm here as a select, selection set, I would say left arm and then if I want to select for the other character, I would have to duplicate that button. And then once I duplicate, now I have to manage two buttons. And that's exponential. If you have 20 buttons per character, you know, it, it will end up with so many buttons to manage. So this little button here, the smart sets, it's supposed to help with that. But many people don't know how to use it. It's not very intuitive at first. So I'm gonna show you now. So let's say I have the left arm for this guy. So if I turn on the sets, the first benefit that I have is that I automatically get the opposite selection. So I only need to manage one side. That's the, the first one. And the other one, I also get the other character selection as well for free. But the part that people get most confused about is let's say I create this uh, the original arm for this big guy here. Now, if I select the other one, you can see that there's a few unique controls here. Those controls on the wrist that that other guy did, doesn't have. So how, how do I handle this? So the way that you do this is that you need to include those controls on the original button as well. And when, when you do that, the idea is that you, you don't use the original buttons anymore. You just use the ones on the tabs. Once, these ones are just meant to be the source for those. So I'm going to add this here. And as you can see now, this button here, it's going to select that arm and those buttons here as well. But now if I go here on the smart tabs, now it's selecting everything. And I get the, uh, the opposite for free, as I mentioned as well. Um, and then the idea is that you keep working, you keep using this set for all your shots. Let's say you are working on a show and then you start building this and then you wanna keep uh, using it. So for example, I can come here and add another button for, let's say I will call this, I don't know, head control or whatever. And again, once I create this, I, I already have for free on this guy. But the same thing happened here. Like I have some unique controls that doesn't have on the original one. So I just, I'm just gonna add, add it. And it doesn't aff affect the other guy. So it keeps filtering by character. And then you can keep like feeding. And so right now I would have already uh, one button for for the right arm, one button for the left, one button for the head in the old way, for two of those. I will have already six buttons to manage, but I only have two. So that's the, that's the idea. So let's say now I wanna transfer this to another shot. So the easiest way is the quick export. So once I do that, I can go to another Maya and I have two different characters here. And I can go and say quick import. And now I have my, my buttons there. As you can see, like there's nothing to select here on that shot. So let's open the smart tabs and see what I get. So I have this one, there's no button at all. This one I have, I, see, I have something like head and the arms. And again, like I can keep 
updating this here by including the controls and I don't need to be very picky about it I just can grab like in this case I can just grab a bunch of controls here and then I say add selection and then I will already get this and the opposite for that and look at this case here I have a completely different rig so what do I do about it like I don't I don't have any buttons created automatically here because the convention are completely different so the same idea like I, for the arm I can grab all of those controls here for this character and I'm going to include it in the same button there and now I have the right and the left without affecting anything on this one and if I want the head control I can do the same thing and if you have something specific per character let's say uh, the glasses for this one for example let's say I want to have a control for those parts of the glasses here, just for the sake of example and then uh, if I go to this character here it's not gonna populate here because he doesn't have glasses but this guy does so that's kind of the basic idea and then, and then you can keep feeding this um, this original set here and then we're using for for your other characters throughout the show and everything and one cool thing about it is that you don't need to actually go to the character tab and click on it if you don't want like if you select a bunch of controls here it's going to pick automatically for you based on the selection that you have and that's pretty much pretty much it i hope that helps see you on the next video